so today we're going to carry on learning about sweet potato and what we're going to do today is we're going to be describing a character we're going to be thinking about sweet potato's appearance so what he looks like we're going to be thinking about what clues are there in the story to tell us what he likes and what he doesn't. And we're also going to be thinking about his personality. So what is he like as a person? So if you've missed any of our previous lessons or you want to read the story again, this is the link to the YouTube video or you can search for Sue Potato if you can't click this link. But you don't have to watch the story again if you think you've got it in here. You don't have to, but if you would like to watch the story again, you can go and watch it now and then pause this video and come back to me when you've done that. So let's have a think about what we've learned about the character, just Sue Potato, none of the other vegetables, but just about Sue Potato. What do we know about him so far? Let's see if you can think of some adjectives, remember they're describing words, and some noun phrases to describe what he looks like and his personality. So there is a picture of him on there, but remember, you can use the whole story. We don't have, we're not just describing this one picture. What kind of things can you think of? So some examples I thought of for what he looks like were that he has a, a wavy red cape. That's a noun phrase. Large round eyes, because, you know, I don't like the word big. And then for his personality, I just thought of some adjectives like brave and strong, because we saw he was brave to try and defeat the evil pea, and we saw he was strong when he saved all the other vegetables. So hopefully by now you've got quite a few ideas of what we could say about Sue Potato, about his personality, as well as just how he looks. And what we're going to do today is I want you to think of as many ideas as you can. And we're going to write them in a character pyramid, which we have done in school before, but it was before Christmas, so you might have forgotten. But just the most important thing for you to remember today is that you don't have to write in full sentences. Today is our ideas day and we're going to write in sentences another day. So I'm going to show you the character pyramid in a second. Just remember, the most important thing is if it's a big box in the pyramid, those are the sections that need the most ideas. If it's a smaller box, you need fewer ideas. So this is the character pyramid, which you might remember from when we did our writing about Bob, the man on the moon. So at the top, it says name and age. And we know that Sue Potato, his name is Sue Potato, but we don't know how old he is. So there, that's when you could use your skills to work out how old you think he is, like we did for Bob. We don't know, but we could have a guess and write that in the box. And then in the next section, we're going to put some of those noun phrases and adjectives to describe what he looks like. So remember, you can talk about his eyes, his face, his clothes, whatever you like to do with how he looks. That's going to go in the next box. Then we've got quite a big box here, and that's for things that he likes and things that he dislikes. Remember, dislikes is things that he doesn't like. So from the story, I'm sure you can think of some ideas of things that he likes doing. What did he like doing in the story? What do you think he didn't like in the story? I'm pretty certain he doesn't like Evil P, so that could go in there. Maybe there's certain things that Evil P does that he doesn't like. It's up to you. You've got to use your ideas. And then the next box, it says fears and worries. And what that just means is you need to think about things that Sue Potato might be afraid of and things that he might worry about. I'm sure we've all had worries before, but we need to think about what Sue Potato might worry about. I'm thinking he might have a worry in the story when he gets thrown into the freezer. Oh, I bet he was a bit worried then. I wonder what he might have been thinking. That would be a good thing to put in that box. And then in the last box, what others say about him? So you need to imagine that if you met cucumber or carrot or any of the other vegetables in the supermarket, perhaps even the evil pea himself, if you could meet them in real life and they could talk to you, what would they say about Sue Potato? They might think, oh, he's amazing. Do you think evil pea would think that as well, though? All of those ideas are what you need to put in that box. So that is, again, using your ideas, using what you know to think about what would evil pea perhaps say what would the other characters say so I've talked you through each section of the character pyramid remember if I went a bit fast or you want to have another listen you can go back to that part of the video and watch it again as many times as you need to 
If you haven't got the character pyramid printed out, it doesn't matter. You can just do it on a piece of paper and use the same ideas with the fears and worries, the what other people say, the likes and dislikes, and just jot them down on a piece of paper. And remember, again, we don't have to do full sentences. It can just be short ideas today. Remember, if you do get stuck, I will be on Teams and in the chat. Mrs Lee will be there as well. If you're in school, you can ask an adult. And when you've finished your pyramid, you can send it to me and Mrs Lee to have a look at. So have a think about sweet potato. What do we know? Use all your ideas. And I can't wait to hear what ideas you've got for me today. See you later.